All right, we're back, and it's still today. So, uh, this nine and a half radius block showed up today. Some jumbo frets showed up today. I pulled all these frets out today, and I'm working on putting these new tuners in. And uh, so I had to drill out <clears throat> bigger hole. Um, I only have a half inch drill bit. That wasn't enough for these new Godos. After I drilled it out, thing's still sitting. Sucks. Same here. So I got it to work in these ones. Wait, drops in. And there's like a little gasket that'll cover, or not gasket, but a little washer that'll cover. And where is it? There we go. It's gonna look pretty sharp. Um, I'm gonna do a rubbing compound all over this whole thing again. That's what I did with the first one. Um, but I'm gonna, yeah, I mean, shit, I'm gonna do the frets today. But anyways, I just wanted to show my process of how I made this half inch hole a little bit bigger. I took a piece of sandpaper, picked 120 for my sander, and I rolled it up like a joint or, you know, Coke straw or something like that. And there we go. And I just stuck it through here and then turned it the opposite way so that it kind of opens itself up. For tension, move back and forth, and then twist it to open it up a little bit more. See, I'm like going against, like reverse threading it or whatever, and that just makes it tight enough so that then I'm taking out some material and go again. So, oh, this video blows. <clears throat> so yeah it's a couple it'll take a couple rounds of that but that seems to uh Good shit, huh? That's a good content. Let's see. It's getting closer. So, anyways, that's that. That's what I'm doing with this thing. Because then I can get those Goto tuners on it. But, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of playing around with, uh, this fretboard. Oh, another funny sort of thing. As I pulled the frets out, it's almost like, um, I can't quite tell. It's, it's like a weird plasticky kind of finish. I mean, this, the workmanship is just really, really rough. I think the fact that I'm going to just kind of touch everything and love everything is going to make a big difference. Uh, when I took these tuners off, these reverse beautiful imperial tuners, they're like left-handed ones. It was very clear. I was undoing those screws for the first time since they were installed. So, I think this base has the benefit of uh, of kind of being, like, having enough failings in the beginning of its life that it just maintained, like, just stayed pretty pristine because it was just basically unplayable or uncomfortable to play. And, uh, I'm gonna make it play. I'm gonna fucking jam on it. Here's the body collecting dust and take everything apart i probably shouldn't be sanding and all this shit over it but whatever it's my world so yeah i'm still gonna take every every bit of screw off and take them pickups off and take it all apart i'm gonna clean and polish everything i'm gonna 
try and take all the tough rot you know rough spots off of the flathead screws and just make everything really really shiny as clean as it can be i'm keeping the jack that's kind of my deal with these that quarter inch is wonderful but i can make the signal come out of this thing the same way as it would with a quarter inch jack why bother that thing is sick okay it's the end of it for now